Hello, in this lecture, we'll take a look at a problem that will be very similar to the homework. The numbers will change. The format will remain much the same. Remember that we have two objectives in mind. One is to learn the accounting principles here. The other is to learn how to maneuver around the Excel. So remember that uh, you're going to learn 95% of the maneuvering in Excel from the day-to-day -day operations from doing worksheets such as this. Uh, maneuvering around Excel, changing the formatting of Excel using some basic formulas. Then you want to look at the Excel class at a later time and pick up some more advanced tools in Excel, such as formatting and presentations and more advanced formulas at that time. So keep it in that, that in mind. Let's take a look at what we have. We've got the accounting equation up top here. We've got our trial balance here. It's in order, assets on top, then liabilities, then the equity, then the income statement accounts being revenue and expenses. This being the line between the balance sheet up top and the income statement down below. We have the uh, total debits equaling the total debits equal the credits here indicated by the green zero. Net income will be these accounts summed up there. Then we've got the general ledger on this side, which will have each account here in the same format as listed in the trial balance and will show the activity in the blue area. The blue area is where we're going to enter information. How are we going to do that? We're first going to take the transactions here. We're going to enter the general journal there. Then we're going to post the general journal to the general ledger here in each account as indicated in the blue areas. So let's take a look at that. First, we have A, performed work on account and invoiced the client. So is cash affected? In this case, we're going to say no. Uh, we did the work on account and invoiced the client. So note that we did get something. We got an IOU in this case. Now, again, it's not tangible. We didn't actually receive something. We sent out the bill, but it's assumed that we did the work and therefore earned it and therefore we are now owed something and so notice accounts receivables right next to cash it's an asset it's also green cash and assets and accounts receivable have debit balances we're going to make it go up because people owe us more money how do we make something go up we do the same thing to it as what it is if it's a debit balance account we're going to debit it again to make it go up so i'm going to copy that i'm going to put our cursor in c5 right click paste one two three that's going to be for the ten thousand then underneath it we're going to put down here in cell E6, I'm going to say negative, left once, up once, and enter. So I want to take that sign, that uh, amount, 10,000 in cell D5, flip sign, by putting a negative in front of it, which is basically multiplying times negative 1, or you could just put a negative 10,000 in that cell. Now, we just need to know what account will be affected here. What's the other side? Well, if we did work, people are going to pay us in the future because we earned revenue. Revenue is down here under the blue line, represented by the fact that it's in the income statement. It's an income account. We already know we're going to credit it because we debited cash. Let's think that through. Does that make sense? Well, revenue has a credit balance. It only goes up. How do we make something go up? We do the same thing to it, which in this case would be a credit. Therefore, the credit is correct. It'll increase revenue. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to put it underneath in cell C6. Right click, paste it, one, two, three. Here's our journal entry. We're going to then post that to the general ledger. This is called posting. And we're going to start with the accounts receivable, which is an asset. Cash is an asset, accounts receivable is right under it. We're going to be here in the debit side on the accounts receivable in the blue area in cell K16. Then I'm going to say equals. We're going to point to cell D5. When we hit enter, it will then post here. And so we say enter. It goes up to 10,000. We're out of balance here, here, and here. We can see that 10,000 also pulls over to the trial balance. If we see where did that come from, it comes from right there. So now we just need to post the other side to revenue. So the revenue account, it's going to be in order. It's over here in revenue. So assets, liabilities, equity, then revenue. So here's the revenue account under the general ledger. We want to be in the credit column. Here's the credit column in the blue. We're going to say equals and go all the way back over here to the 10. So there's the 10, uh, the E6, and it's pointing to there. We're going to say enter, and that'll make this amount go up. Here's our running balance. There's the 10 uh, in the credit. It also pops up here on the trial balance. And that is coming from here. We are now in balance. So the only activity we are showing so far is that we did work for 10,000 and we are owed 10,000 and we earned revenue for 10,000. Account equation, 10,000 asset, equity 10,000 because all of this is equity here. Now, second transaction. Uh, received cash on account for work performed in the past so now is cash affected yeah we received cash and cash similar to accounts receivable has a debit balance represented by the fact that it does not have brackets 
debit balance are not having brackets here. We need to make it go up because we got more of it. How do we make something go up? We do the same thing to it, which in this case is another debit. Right click, copy that. Debits generally go on top. In cell C8, right click, paste one, two, three. So we're going to say that we got 10,000. If we debit 10,000, we're going to credit 10,000 as well. So on cell uh, E9, negative, left once, up once, of that number, enter. Credit 10,000 formatted with brackets because of the format of the Excel worksheet. What account will that go to? Why did people pay us 10,000? You might be thinking because we earned revenue. But note that we already recorded the revenue when we earned it. Now we're getting paid for something we did in the past. So that is the IOU. People owed us 10,000. Now they're going to pay us. So what's going to happen? This cash should go up. This receivable should go down. We already know that we're going to credit it. Does that make sense? Well, the receivable has a debit balance. It needs to go down after someone has now paid us. How do we make something go down? We do the opposite thing to it, which in this case would be a credit. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to put it underneath in cell C9. Right click, paste one, two, three. There's our journal entry. We want to post that to the general ledger, starting with the cash account. In the general ledger, the cash account is the first account in order right there. We're going to debit it because we debited over here. So we are now in cell K9. And we're going to say that equals, and we're going to point to cell D8 uh, because that's the cash amount. When we do that, this amount will then go up. It will also be posted there. We can see where that comes from here. And we are now out of bounds by the 10,000 until we post the other side being two accounts receivable. Accounts receivables right underneath. So in the general ledger, accounts receivables are second favorite asset. There it is. We're going to credit it. So I'm going to go underneath and to the credit column in cell L17 equals. We're going to point to that credit there. Then this running balance is at 10. It's a debit balance. It's going to go down if we credit it. So we're going to say enter goes back down to zero. We can see that that zero is now populated here. Now we're down to just having cash and receivable cash and equity. All right. So next transaction, perform work on account and invoice the client. Once again, we're working on the accounts receivable. So we're going to see this type of transaction a lot. So we did work. Is cash affected? No, but we did get an IOU. We sent out the invoice and we assumed that we received something. We received, we assumed that people owe us money at that time of the performance of the work. So we're going to copy that and we're going to paste it here. Receivables have a debit balance. We're going to make it go up by doing the same thing to it, which is another debit. In this case, 500. If we debit something, we're going to have to credit something as well. So in cell E12, I'm going to say negative, left once, and then up once, enter. Remember that if we hit a negative sign, then Excel sees that as we're going to put in a formula. Note that Excel put in the equals for me. I